Let's spend 10 minutes in going through the most important concepts in NLP, natural language processing. The first main category is weights and vectors. We put weights on stuff, we put uh, vectors on words, and in this way we are able to measure, to convert our text to numbers. Once we convert our text to numbers, which is weights and vectors, we can start letting the computer deal with it. So the first thing and the basic thing is named TFIDF. TFIDF stands for Term Frequency Inverse Document Frequency, which means the term frequency is how many times the word appears in our specific document, and the inverse document frequency is uh, how many times the word appears also in other documents in our corpus. So the more the word appears in our specific document and the less it appears on other documents, this means that this word is more specific to our document and its weight is higher. The length of a TFIDF for a document is the number of distinct words in our uh, document because for each uh, word we put a number in our vector and we increase or decrease this uh, weight. The word vectors are another uh, numeric, another number thing we put on words. In order to calculate a word vector, what we do is we looked at uh, the current word, let's say you have an index which is increasing, every time the index is increasing you point to a specific word. Once you point to a specific word, in our case to W1, word 1, then you look at a window. The window, let's say five words ahead and five words uh, before, and uh, you make the victor uh, increasingly closer for word 1 and word 2 for each of our uh, words in the window and for the current word we are looking because they appear uh, next to each other. So you increase uh, the closeness of these uh, vectors. So you have many vectors for your words and they come closer and um, farther one from uh, another. And then if you do, for example, king minus queen, you will see that the vector for king minus the vector for queen is roughly equal, similar to vector of men minus vector of woman. This looks like uh, magic, uh, so it works great. Um, you can even download uh, ready-made vo word vectors. Uh, Google has uh, ready-made vo word vectors because you can scan many uh, texts, uh, corpuses and documents and prepare for all the word, uh, word vectors. And you can simply download it. Let's move on to text structure. Text structure is, uh, remember, we are in the context of uh, NLP, natural language processing. We need to understand the meaning of words. We need to understand the meaning of text. By understanding the meaning of text, we also want to know what is the role of the word. So part of speech tagging term uh, means what is the word uh, role, simply. Is it a verb? Is it a noun? It's not always obvious. Head of sentence. Head of a sentence is our uh, next term. The head of a sentence is the most important word. It's like the root. If you look at a tree, its root is the most important thing. So the head of the sentence is like the root. It's not necessarily uh, the first word, as it sounds, head of sentence. It's like the uh, head of the parliament. So it's the most important word. And uh, for example, in she hit the world, the most important word here is uh, heat. You can argue about it, but the most important word here is heat. So you build a graph of for the sentence and the most important word, which is named as the term the head of the sentence, is the uh, root of this uh, graph. Named entities. Named entities are, again, part of the uh, text structure. So named entities are people, companies, locations. It's a quick way to know what the text is about. Sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis, you want to understand the sentiment and the feeling of the person, uh, of the text. So in sentiment uh, dictionary, uh, you give uh, for each uh, <clears throat> a word uh, a, a score. So love would get uh, a plus score because it's a positive sentiment and hated will get a minus score, which is uh, in our case a minus 3.2. So if I have a sentence, I loved you, but now I hate you, then it's 2.9, which is uh, love 
minus uh, 3.2 and this is the score for the sentiment analysis in this case it will become negative uh, sentiment entities is uh, it, is it about a movie is it about uh, a cinema about what is the text the entities in the text sentiment features is once you have uh, some entity then you want to know certain features about the entity like uh, what is the resolution of the camera what is the convenience of the camera how good is it Next category is text classification. In text classification, we are dealing with the decisions. So decisions, decisions, and decisions. Uh, we are trying to decide what is the topic. Is he happy? Is he native uh, English uh, speaker? It's mostly a supervised uh, training. And uh, we have labels and we map the new text into the labels. Uh, it's decisions in supervised learning. You are trying to come to uh, decisions and to predictions about the text and this is what we uh, do here. In supervised learning we have three sets, the train set and the test set and in the middle the dev set. Usually people are noting uh, only the train set or the test set. The train set, you can guess what it is, you train the text by ready-made labels. The dev set is used for uh, validation, it's for tuning the parameters of uh, the model you want to prevent uh, overfitting so you use a dev or in other words a validation set the test set is where you check the model after you have created the model you want to test it and to see that it's working with a different set of your uh, input next term uh, text uh, features you <clears throat> when we want to convert a text uh, into uh, numbers we first convert it into a uh, features or bag of words vectors and we can use tfidf to create this we have seen that in tfidf we give weights we give numbers to uh, words lda latent dirichlet allocation so in lda of a document we simply give topics when you hear lda think topics so for example technology topic uh, then uh, it will you input to it uh, the documents and it will output uh, the topics and you also give it the number of uh, topics that you want if you want a single topic or a single word or uh, two uh, topics so if you uh, have inputted a uh, text documents and you tell it you I want uh, five topics it will extract for you five topics and for each topics the most important words for example for sport topic it will may output football basketball and skateboard so LDA is simply extracting topics from um, <clears throat> from a uh, text uh, machine reading uh, we do all this so that the machine would be able to read the text just as uh, humans uh, read the text in machine reading we take all that we have learned uh, so far and we apply it we extract numbers from text and from these numbers we extract uh, decisions what is the topic what is the sentiment so in machine reading and the entity extraction is that you put as an input a text you see here I'm writing this as a notation of a function. So you have the function entity recognition, you input to it a text and the output is from each entity name into the entity type. For example, the output of a certain text might say from Paul Newman into a person. A person is the entity type of Paul Newman. So you have extracted entities from the text and not only you have extracted entities, you have also extracted the entity type. Entity linking, we can have uh, the same uh, Paul uh, Newman as the uh, multiple people. We can have uh, the same uh, entity as uh, multiples. Uh, for example, uh, if I have a bottle, then I have uh, a bottle that uh, I'm drinking for, but maybe there is also a company named Bottle. Uh, so we need to know what is the entity. By entity linking, we are like linking to the unique ID or to, to the URL of the entity so that we pinpoint the exact entity we link to the exact entity you can also call it I would call it entity identification because we provide like a unique ID uh, the next term is uh, DBpedia when we have uh, Wikipedia Wikipedia is the Wikipedia the encyclopedia for humans and if you want an encyclopedia for a uh, text 
uh, for machines to learn about, then you have uh, like a mirror of uh, Wikipedia only in a format which is uh, better suited to uh, programs. Uh, below in the description of this video I will put a resource, uh, links to the resources that I'm using in order to prepare this cheat sheet and also you can look at uh, the source website where I'm uploading this uh, cheat sheet. So with this cheat sheet NLP you can scan it in 10 minutes and see all the main terms in NLP and I will have such uh, more cheat sheets. Last term is a Fred. Fred is actually a library or another library, a uh, Pikes which you give it as an input natural uh, language, some text, and it will output the formal uh, structure of this uh, text. Our resources were uh, the great book Time in Text. I will have a link uh, below. Thank you for listening and I will see you next time.